Right now. All right, you ready? For, um, steering and suspension. The suspension part will be the leaf, the leaf springs. See, it's on the leaf springs. None are missing. They're not cracked. You got to them out. In. Yeah, there you is. Can you can touch them too if you no, want. No, you need to touch them. You can touch them too. All right. You bolts. They're not missing. They're not cracked in good condition, not broken, and they're secure. Then you come over here. Uh, held secure in the front and the rear by the spring mounts. The spring mounts are not broken, they're not cracked, they're secured to the frame. The frame is in good condition, it's not cracked. Your shock absorber is clean, it's not cracked, it's not leaking. It's secured to the shock mounts top and bottom. Top shock mount is secured to the frame, the shock mount is in good condition, the frame is in good condition. On the bottom, it's secured to the bottom of the leaf spring shock mount. And that's in good condition also, and not broken. And at least in good condition. And that's the suspension part. The steering part of the steering, this bar that's on the bottom, this pipe that goes across on the bottom, all the way across, that's the tie rod. At the end over here, you're gonna to have to come around here, behind the tire where it's connected to, where you see the collar pin, that's the steering arm. Then, steering arm right over here that's the steering arm tie rod is the pipe goes across shock is over leaf springs u-bolts then go over here all the steering this is starts the steering wheel steering wheel shaft ends on the gearbox the gearbox has the power steering liquid that goes into it. It's the gearbox so you know that's what the steering. This is the pitman arm. And it's also secure to the box. The gearbox is secure to the frame. And the frame is in good condition. The gearbox is properly mounted, not broken. The pitman arm, and it's connected to your drag link. And it has the cotter pin, nothing's missing. The bushes are in good condition. The bushes are like the little rubber pieces. Like, you know, between the nut and that, that's the bushing. Then right here, the cotter pin, the castle nut, is good condition. And this is the other steering arm. The cotton pin in there. Yeah, so these are called steering arm. So if you come around this way, come around. The steering arm, see, it twists around, it like it bends. You see it? And it locks here, and it ends with a nut right there. That's a nut right there that's like, you know, castle nut, that's dirty. Mm -hmm. Bottom is the same. Bottom. So if you see this, it's like a letter C right here, right? Correct? See it? It's grabbed here and then the space and it's grabbed up there. And that's the letter C. That's the spindle, that letter C. This is the drum. And what's inside right here, they call this the window. This little crack right here. It's the window. Inside the window, that's where you will see what's called the drum lining. And you will see the the, the pads inside. This is your brake chamber. This is your slack adjuster. The this is here? the just brake chamber, this big piece. Okay. This is the brake holes where the air comes through into the chamber. The chamber pushes the slack adjuster and the slack adjuster pushes into here for the drum so it breaks. So when you step on the brake, pushes air from the air tank through the air lines to the brake chamber, pushes the slack adjuster and then pushes everything in the drum to break. That's basically the braking system. This is a separate part, I don't remember the name of it, but now you gotta name it that separate part of the slack adjuster. That's the adjustment nut. Then that should be it for steering and the braking. This is the drum, they call it the drum, because everything's in there for the braking. And this is the rim of the tire. So after you do the steering, the suspension, the rim, so the rim is not bent, it's not cracked, it's not welded. Really welded. The back wall the tire, I mentioned it now, everything. The tire wall is not cut, doesn't have any bubbles. Top of the tire, you hit a 430 seconds tread, and it's even thread, uh, even wear, even thread. 80 to 100 pounds of air. The front 
tire, you know, the tire is not cut, no bubbles. The rim is not bent, it's not cracked, it's not welded. Around this point, when you tell them it's 80 to 100 pounds, they're actually, how do you know? You're gonna have to have an air gauge. Come here to the valve stem, take off the cap, take off the cap with the air gauge and show the air pressure. Then after that, you can tell them lug nuts all tight and secure and not missing. He might ask you at that moment, how do you know they're tight and you know they're tight? You tell them there's, not, there's no rust marks or any shiny marks indicating that they're loose. Two things happen when they're loose, they either put the rubber rub and get shiny, metal on metal and get shiny, or when it's loose, water or any kind of moisture in the street gets behind the, the, the nut, rust the, rust the stud, and that's how you get the, the rust marks. No leaks, no missing, no, nothing missing. This is like the sight window. You take it off to look at the level. And then you can see the drum from, from the front side now for the braking. And that's the suspension and steering part of that. So stop that one, then we do an engine.